The Google Cloud Vision API and the Microsoft Project Oxford set of APIs cover some of the same things. Oxford is much wider in that it covers what Microsoft calls their cognitive services such as image, speech and language analysis, as well as a few others. Google has a number of separate APIs to do many of these things and its Cloud Vision API is roughly equivalent to a subset of Microsoft's Vision APIs. This video will look at how they compare in the area of emotion detection. This of course starts with face detection. Given an image, can they first of all find faces in that image? If they do, then can they recognize the emotions in these faces? This app that we're looking at now is built with Google Apps Script and is able to take some images from Google Drive, encode them, send them to Microsoft and Google APIs respectively, and correlate and report on the results from these APIs. I have a folder containing a few pictures of faces drawn randomly from the internet, so let's start by sending them to Google Cloud Vision API and see what it makes of them. Google tries to detect the emotions of joy, sorrow, anger, surprise, as well as a few functional measures such as are they wearing headwear, is the picture blurred or is it underexposed. The first thing to note is it returns a five point scale ranging from very unlikely through to very likely. I'll be visualizing these, these later on, so let's not spend too much time trying to interpret these results. Instead, let's go and see what Microsoft makes of them. Microsoft returned joy, sorrow, anger, surprise too. Actually, they call them something different, but I've renamed them for easy comparison. As well as, as a few more complex emotions, such as contempt, disgust, fear, and neutrality. So one up for Microsoft for ambition, and another for returning actual values between 0 and 1, rather than the 5-point scale. This shows some more confidence in the results. So now we've got both APIs working on the same images. Let's compare how successfully they were in detecting emotions in each picture. On the left, we have the Microsoft results, and on the right, Google ones. If you recall, the Google ones were a five-point scale, so I've used some appropriate values for each point of the scale so they could be plotted. The first four emotions are the same for each provider and can be used for comparison. The next four are different between providers, but we can still see how accurate they've been in identifying them. So first up, we have this Trump picture. To me, he looks angry, and both have identified that. Google also thinks he looks surprised. I don't see that, but maybe you do. So run one to Microsoft, I'd say. Next we have this crazy picture of Carrie from Homeland. Microsoft did a good job in picking up the mixed emotions here, but Google only noticed anger. Inexplicably, they also detect headwear, another one for Microsoft. Next we have Bernie Sanders in full indignant flow. I can see where Microsoft are coming from with anger and a little disgust, but I don't get the neutrality. Google are completely off with joy. He doesn't look happy to me. So another one for Microsoft. And Trump again with that trademark expression of mixed anger and surprise. They both picked it up, but I think Google has it better scaled. So one for Google. And Trump again. So Microsoft got the anger and the surprise. Google can only see surprise. I can see both. So another one for Microsoft. This nice picture of the Queen is Joy, detected by both. Strangely, Google didn't notice she was wearing a hat. I'd say this one's a tie. Well, the only emotion this crazy picture of Hollande shows is dopiness, which both have treated as Joy, which I guess it is. I like the nuance of surprise that Microsoft picked up too, so I'll give it to them, but just by a whisker. Trump again. Of course, Google picked up he was wearing a hat but no emotion detected at all. Microsoft did a nice job of picking up all those complex emotions I can see there. Sorrow mixed with anger and contempt. Very nicely done, Microsoft. Now the last one, this time of Hillary. Great job by both on detecting both the joy and surprise in that expression. Definitely a tie. So the result, 6-1 to Microsoft, but it's not quite so much a sweep as it seems. They were pretty close on a couple of those. And of course, it's based on my opinion of the emotions I saw. The Google Cloud Vision API is, of course, pretty new, and Microsoft has been around for quite a while with their one. 
It's an extremely complicated analysis to make. So both did a pretty good job. Both companies charge you to use their APIs, but they do have a free tier if you want to play around with them. You can get more details on the source code for this app. You can download it at the address on the screen right now. I'd be delighted to see your comments on what you think about the capabilities of each of these APIs. And I'd be delighted to post any stories you'd like to write about any apps you write using this as a base.